Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. This is Tamur, and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Now, last week, I talked about the different cybersecurity career paths that are available to you in 2024. And then a lot of people reached out to me, and they wanted to know that if they're starting their cybersecurity career as a beginner, as somebody who has no knowledge, like which certification should they start with? Because they don't know which like career path. They, they, even if they have a career path, they don't know which certification as a beginner. So this is the video I want to talk about today in this video, which is the cyber security certification paths for beginners. Like if you are a complete beginner and you don't know anything, how do you start it? Like which certification should you start with? So in 2024. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. If you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you find it useful. Thank you. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about the beginner level certifications, okay? Certifications which really start your career in cybersecurity and which don't require that much experience and which teach you the basics. And you really need to choose the right one because many times I've seen newcomers, they choose the wrong certification which is not aligned with their career goals. So that's where we're gonna be looking at the different certifications that are available, what sort of mistakes you don't you want to avoid when choosing the right one and which is my recommendation for 2024 for beginners, okay? So first of all, let's start with the CompuSecurity Security Plus. Why? Because this is easily the most well-known entry-level certification. The CompTIA is like covers a wide array of security topics. You know, everything you can talk about networking, like threats and vulnerabilities and all that. It's a 90 uh, MCQ questions you get and around 90 minutes. So 90 questions, 90 minutes usually. That's how the format is structured. And it usually gives you like the building blocks of cybersecurity, you know. That's one of the good things. So it, it like what you call it, it'll give you all the foundational knowledge. The good thing about it is, it is vendor neutral and it's available to beginners and it's recognized by employers because it has a very good like a track record within the industry for beginners okay so you don't have any you need to have any prerequisites which are there comte usually do recommend you have two years of experience but honestly i've seen complete beginners and a lot of federal agencies a lot of like private organizations they do choose, choose this certification and they give preference to it it's around i think 392 dollars around 400 dollars if you just get the exam so it's midway between the most and the least expensive certification. It's kind of within the mother, like the middle ground. And it has, like the price has increased because the, it's it's so popular. But usually it does lead to good jobs like cybersecurity administrator or analyst or network engineer, those sort of things. So the CompTIA is a very, very good certification to get. The other one is the ISC2 certified in cybersecurity. ISC2, if you're not familiar already, they are, uh, they are the ones who launched the world famous CISSP certification which I think is the most popular uh, advanced certification in cybersecurity. It has been there since like decades now, three or four decades it's been there. But they have launched their new, uh, what do you call, beginner level certification and it's part of the initiative. It's like a 1 million certified in cybersecurity. The good thing about it is it, currently they are offering free uh, training and exams to the first million people which they're entering it, okay? If you just want to go with the exam and the, basically the training, so they are right now offering it completely for free. So it's like a two hour exam, 100 MCQs and all that. And because they want to like increase the number of cybersecurity professionals that are there. So it's pretty cool if you want to check this out. The And it covers the same, like what you call areas, the security principles, incident response, access control, similar to the CompTIA. The con I would say about this certification is it's not as popular as the CompTIA. It does not have the same standing within the industry which the CompTIA security plus has okay okay what else is there uh, the other one is the uh, information security fundamentals gisf by gisc that's a very long uh, abbreviation <laughs> so it's like uh, again similar to like the previous two certifications it uh, it checks your foundational knowledge and it validates it so it's a proctored exam and 75 questions or two hours and you have to have a score of 71 percent the GISF exam is it's more challenging than the CompTIA and the previous ones. And you know, it, you need to like demonstrate problem solving, knowledge solving. So, and they usually do recommend hands-on experience before attempting this examination. The It is quite good in how it checks you. The only problem with the uh, this GISF is that it costs around, I think $949 at last check. And the even though it has to, like when you purchase it, it, it includes two practice exams. In the, when, when you attempt the certification, but the price is exceptionally higher. So unless your uh, company is reimbursing you, I would not recommend going for this simply because of the price, which is there. 
Another new one which has come out is the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Google announced their new entry-level cybersecurity certificate to teach learners, you know, how to identify common risks, threats, and it's been designed and taught by Google cybersecurity experts. So it, it is designed for like entry-level jobs in cybersecurity. If you don't have any experience, if you wanted to get into cybersecurity, but like within six months, right? Because they also saw the shortage of cybersecurity professionals. So the good thing about this, it, it gives you hands-on experience with tools like Python, Linux, SIEM, and it also helps you to prepare for the CompTIA Security Plus exam. And I'll talk about more about this. So the Google examination, it's like best for, like, like I said, if you're trying to enter the cybersecurity, it gives you the core knowledge. It gives you some hands-on uh, the knowledge also of SIEM, Python. And it really, uh, like I personally really like this uh, certification and I think it's a great attempt by Google. And the program is currently in on Coursera. It costs around $49 per month. So if you take like six months to complete the program, right, it'll cost you around $300. But if you like, if you have dedication, you can complete it in just three months for like, it'll be charged around $147. The good news is you, you, you have the option to try out this program for free. You get a seven day free trial. So you can simply review the course and make a decision. So you don't need to pay anything. Okay. With the free seven day free trial, which is there. Okay. What else is there? The other one is the ISACA cybersecurity fundamental certificate. ISACA. If you're not familiar, they, they are the, uh, responsible for the famous CISA and the CISM certifications, one or two of the very most famous GRC certifications. And it's backed by ISACA. And again, it's like been launched as a, uh, what do you call foundational uh, cybersecurity certification for completely for beginners. So it's again, it's online. It's like two hour examination. You need to have a 65% passing score and it gives people like they can demonstrate their foundational level knowledge. If you have uh, what they have in cybersecurity, so it covers the same thing: the threat landscape, information security fundamentals, uh, same, pretty much the same with a few minor variations. So these were the like what do you call the most popular foundational level cybersecurity certifications, which are there for beginners. So how to choose? Like uh, what are my recommendations and what are the mistakes you want to avoid? So first of all, if you want to choose yourself, of course you can take a look, uh, do your own research. Okay, but uh, there are a few mistakes which I want you to avoid. First of all, uh, following the crowd, which is like, you know, jumping on the bandwagon. I've seen many novices, like beginners and even experienced people make the mistake. They just select a certification because it is trending or because uh, uh, their colleagues are pursuing it, right? I call it the shiny search syndrome. Like it's, you need to, don't just jump uh, blindly. Just choose a certification, check whether it's aligned with your career, check whether you can do it, check whether it like what you call, you're capable of doing it right now, okay? Just don't just do a certification because it's showing up on the top 10 uh, certifications for 2024 or if your friend tells you, do your own research, don't just follow the crowd, okay? The second mistake you want to allow, like follow is uh, not ch checking the market demand. Avoid this mistake, which is not all certifications are created equal, right? And the market demand for certain certifications might be higher than others. So you, we need to understand which certifications employers value and which are in demand. Go to LinkedIn, take a look at for, for the beginner level jobs, which are the certifications which are most in demand. Usually the CompTIA Security Plus is the, the one I've seen, but you can do your own research. And mistake three you want to avoid is going beyond your level, okay? Which is basically biting off more than you chew. The ambition is great, but overestimating your abilities, you know? If you're just starting out, please take your time, get that, uh, what do you call, uh, foundational level and choose a certification that matches your abilities and then gradually gradually you can work up i've seen people starting out in cyber security they want to jump to the cissp and they fail and that causes them like they get demotivated right because it was a mistake to make because your level was not there right now right so choose the right certification so all in all what would my recommendation be so from all the certifications that i have like uh, told you about the recommendation I would go was, I would recommend you go with the start with the Google cybersecurity and get the CompTIA. Why? Because uh, the Google cybersecurity certificate program, it helps you prepare for the CompTIA security plus exam, right? And the best thing is you'll get a dual credential when you complete both on Credly. So Google will help you yeah, like uh, it prepare for the CompTIA security exam and you can actually what do you call, uh, get a dual credential when you complete both. So you can look at the bottom, the earning criteria, right? So you successfully complete the eight course Google Cyber Security Certificate Program and completion of the CompTIA Security Plus. So you get this very cool uh, dual certification, which is there. And both of these examinations are quite good.
Okay. So take a look at that. If you want to start your career in 2024, of course, you're free to choose whatever you want. This is just my own uh, recommendation, which I'm giving you. So like I said, take a look at your strengths. If you're starting out in your career, this is a very exciting time. Don't get demotivated. Okay. Do your research. Don't rush into it and choose your like which uh, career path and which certification aligns with your goals for 2024. Okay. I have uh, just wanted to announce that I have launched my own program also within cybersecurity for cybersecurity people, the careers. I'm not able to coach every single person. Right. So what I've done is I've made this small course. A two hour course, which is there, which has everything I talk about within cybersecurity. I'll link it below in the uh, uh, description also in the comments and you can take a look. Okay. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.